Hello and welcome. Today I'd like to talk about the amazing Kreskin. My birthday was in June and uh, my wife and I went to one of the local restaurants. It was the Iron Horse, I think it was, over on the, uh, over on the other side of town. We were having lunch and it was a hot day. We were sitting outside. It was blistering hot. It was in June, late, late June. And she handed me an envelope and inside the envelope were two tickets to see the Kreskin show in September. We're in October now, but we saw it a couple of weeks ago. I loved it, and uh, I thought I would introduce you to Kreskin. If you don't already know who he is, you certainly should. He's, for me, he's one of the, one of the holdovers from another era. Uh, some say he was inspired. In fact, Richard Osterlin pointed out that he, he derived a great deal of uh, Kreskin derived a great deal of inspiration from the from Joseph Dunninger. Arguably, in, in the world of mentalism, there are two really greats. I mean, you, you have Houdini in the world of magic, and it is often said of Houdini, he's the great wave that drives the rest of us to the shore. He's the tide on which all boats rise. Uh, I've heard that said of Darren Brown. It's certainly been said of Anaman, and it's been said of Joseph Dunninger. Today we have performers like Kreskin. We have Richard Osterlin. I've mentioned him in another video. Uh, we have a lot of great mentalists out working today. Uh, Jerry McCambridge, uh, Darren Brown himself. Uh, so we have a lot of great mentalists working today. But it was a privilege to get to see <coughs> Kreskin. I've heard about Kreskin. I've read about Kreskin. All the years, I mean, I've been in magic since I was eight years old. That entire time, I've never had the opportunity to see Kreskin live. And in September, I did. So, folks, this is the amazing Kreskin. He was born uh, George Joseph Kresge on January 12th, 1935. Uh, and you know what? It is 2019, and this man is still performing and still great. So I think that is a tremendous career. Kudos to Kreskin. Good for you. Uh, at, at his show, he made a little bit of a joke. I liked it. I, I don't know, you know, but but I like morbid things. Uh, so he sh he showed a photograph, a in a large photograph, of his tombstone, and uh, it didn't have the uh, the end date, uh, obviously, um, but it had his birth date. And then there was a caption on the tombstone that said, "I can still read your mind." Uh, I, I thought it was great. You know what impressed me about Kreskin? I mean, he did a wonderful show. It was entertaining. It was fabulous. But what impressed me the most was his personal warmth and his anecdotes. He told stories that were absolutely fantastic. He told stories about Johnny Carson. He told stories about Steve Allen. He told stories about all kinds of people that he's met and interacted with. So that was fantastic. To, to hear the stories, to hear him talk, just stand there and talk to an audience it felt like you were having a one-on-one -on -one with Kreskin. That's how warm he was. That's how he came across. So it was a great show. <clears throat> so he's born George Joseph Kresge on January 12th, 1935. He had a television show in the 19, in 1970s. I'm going to get into that a little bit more later. Um, he, says, he says that he was inspired by Mandrake the Magician. Now, I have... Um, I didn't didn't bring it with me to show you. I'm gonna do another. I'm gonna do another video on Mandrake, just on Mandrake. But Mandrake, uh, the magician. If you did not know, argue, arguably Mandrake was the first caped crusader. He was the first superhero in comics. He premiered in comics uh, a couple of years before Superman did. <coughs> so. Um, Mandrake is, is somebody that uh, I think I'd like to spend some time with doing a dedicated video to him alone. But, but Kreskin claims he was inspired by Mandrake. And I think that's fantastic. I, I've been reading, uh, by the way, I picked up, you can buy all of the Mandrake comics all the way back from, from the beginning, all the way on through. You can buy them in hardbound versions. I've been reading through the Mandrake comics and they are absolutely fantastic. They really hold up. Uh, so I recommend them to you, and I can see why. Mandrake, by the way, um, he comes on like a stage magician. You know, he's wearing a tuxedo, he's wearing tails, he's wearing a top hat, he's got the goatee, he's got the whole bit. But 
Mandrake is not a stage magician. Mandrake is the real thing. And so I can understand why Kreskin might be interested in Mandrake. Kreskin's one of those guys that um, likes to blur the lines a little bit. You know, I, and I, I'm going to put some links below to his television show. But if you watch his television show, I, I mean, I give the guy credit because he'll do, he'll do a card trick. Just a, a plain old card trick. And he calls it a card trick. But in the same breath, he'll turn around and do uh, mentalism and call it real. Or he'll have a guest on that's a paranormal researcher and they'll have a, a very intelligent conversation about the latest in paranormal research. So, um, I love the guy. I mean, that's, that's the way it ought to be. And if you love, if you have a passion for something, why should you, why should you divide it? You know, why should you say, well, I'm going to be a performer, but I'm not going to pursue the real thing, or I'm going to pursue the real thing, but I'm not going to be a performer. Why should you do that? I mean, if you have a sincere belief in both, go for it, you know. Uh, Debbie Miller calls him an icon of pop culture, and I really believe that he is. Uh, so I, I was able to see the amazing Kreskin. This is a photograph of Kreskin appearing on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. I mentioned before, <clears throat> I will say again, Johnny Carson is one of my heroes. He's one of my role models. Uh, I love Johnny Carson. I love Doc Hilfer. Uh, love um, many, many people, but Johnny Carson is uh, is certainly a leader. Now, now Kreskin was able to appear on the Mike Douglas show. Uh, Johnny Carson, Regis Philbin, David Letterman, Jimmy Fallon, Neil Cavuto, and Howard Stern, just to name a few. Uh, he's been around television a very long time. His television series was on from 1970 to 1975. You can see most of the episodes. There is a dedicated channel to that series. I'm going to put the link below so you can take a look at it. It was called The Amazing World of Kreskin. And it was broadcast throughout Canada on CTV and distributed in syndication in the United States. There was a major motion picture made of his work called The Great Buck Howard. The film was made in 2009, produced by Tom Hanks starring John Malkovich. I haven't seen it yet. I probably should have seen it before I made this video, but I'm definitely going to take a look at that film. Uh, he had a board game in 1967 that was manufactured, distributed by Milton Bradley called Kreskin's ESP. And he has 20 published books to his name. Good going, Kreskin. Good job. Uh, by the way, if you get an opportunity, and, and you can search him out, to see some of his appearances on some of these talk shows. You will just love it. He, he did a great job. So this is what Kreskin looks like today. This is how he operates. Um, when I saw him, it was actually Saturday, September 21st, 2019 at the Gordon Center for Performing Arts over in Owings Mills. Got to see him live. Fantastic. Uh, and and uh, he did, uh, you know, he did the Q&A, which, which I fully expected him to do. It took up most of the time. Uh, he did uh, some other things, but the Q&A was the heart and center of his act. You know, he went around and he handed out slips of paper and people were writing down uh, questions. And uh, he gathered up the slips and envelopes and, uh, and he sat uh, very, very much like this. And he just started to... Um, to, uh, to connect with people and, and to give information. And so, uh, you know, it was a great honor to get to see Kreskin. And, uh, and God bless him. I hope he continues to work for many, many more years. I really just wanted and to I introduce introduce you to, to the amazing Kreskin. If you don't already know him, please check him out again. I'm going to put some links below. Uh, if you like what you see here, please subscribe and uh, comment. I would love to hear your comments. I'd love to be able to interact with you. Hey, thank you for joining me. Have a great day. See you next time.